Weekend Update with your RA. Hey there, RA Joey here, and this is your Weekend Update. After Dark Edition. For all of you that were on campus between 9am and noon, you may have noticed a significant lack of everything. Power was out all across campus except for Laker Village. Why not Laker Village? I don't know, but I still don't want to live there. Anyway, it was probably just about the most exciting three hours of our lives, as electrical crews worked around the clock and students battled for their very survival in a post-electrical world. Here is a recreation of my struggle to beat the odds and survive the power outage. Oh, come on. Power's back. Okay, so it was only out for like three hours. Yeah, I'm sure some of you were like, oh no, it's no big deal. No, not a problem. Yeah, you guys are like, yeah, it's great, man. On this side of the state, we get water when the power's out and it gets fixed in a few hours. Y'all should come up north and see what it's like where I'm from. The second those lights go out, survival mode kicks in. When I woke up and found the power was out, I was like trying to think of how much food I had and water, trying to find a flashlight, thinking about gathering firewood, wondering if I need to make a supply run into town to get supplies to keep you all alive. Yeah, then I found out you guys had running water, hot showers, the toilets worked, and things got fixed in like three hours. Yeah, where I come from, up north, nothing works, it's always blizzarding, and the power company takes like an entire day to fix the electricity. It's like their dog sleds get stuck in the snow every time. I don't know. It's a problem. Point being, I was in the process of wondering where I could make a campfire to cook ramen when the power just came back on. So, Christ is a bird. Basically, the last few hours of our lives have been more exciting than the past three weeks combined since my last weekend update. I know many of you are asking why it's been so long since my last update. My excuse? I have a life. The truth? I don't really have a life. I just usually procrastinate my homework and the weekend update both the Sunday and when I have a choice between the weekend update and homework. The weekend update always loses. But I'm back! And I think to make life easier, it's going to be a bi-weekly weekend update from now on. Because every week is a lot of work. And so... Oh. And so, yeah. Just going to be every other week from now on. Basically, R.A. Joey's a lazy pile, but I don't get paid overtime, so... Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever... I don't think I've ever even seen a paycheck from Grand Valley. So... Point being, the weekend update is back, so let's highlight some news. Story 1. It's fall! Yay, leaves! Story 2. The Tigers lost! Lame. Story 3. MSU beat U of M. Go Lakers! Story 4. Homecoming is soon. Super cool. Story 5. Halloween is soon. Party rock! With apple cider. Story 6. Midterms. We don't like midterms. Story 7. There's the new iPhone 4S. Just kidding, we can't afford that. And our last story, global anti-corporate and anti-government riots, protests, and rallies. I still don't know what we're protesting. Basically, lots of things are going down. Think about it. This semester is halfway over. Think about it more. Your freshman year is 25% over. Think about it even more. Your college career is 6.25% over. Now think about this. That's crazy. This morning, I had a white mocha coffee with a peach flavor shot. It's kind of weird. Well, that's all we have for this week. If I get over 100 views and some good comments, maybe I'll do it every week instead of bi-weekly. But until then, have a great week, study like a boss, and remember, if the lights go down, we just gotta party till the sun comes up. And by party, I mean study party. Or like, movie party. Or pasta party. Yeah, have a pasta party.
jc at every day i'm shuffling